Hello and welcome to Apple Meet Spain. For today's video, I'm going to share with you my travel must-haves. So whether you're traveling by plane, by boat, by train or by car, I'm going to share with you my travel essentials. I have compiled this list from my years and years of traveling. So now let's get on with my travel essentials. My first travel essential are mints. Why? Because not only mints freshen your breath, but sometimes this is just a hack if you don't have access to any sink or you cannot brush your teeth. What I often encounter is that when you're traveling, you're always on the go and you don't have time to brush your teeth. So the, this mints are a way to freshen your breath. Also sometimes when you're sleeping while traveling, afterwards you wake up with your morning breath, this mints will save you a lot of embarrassment. Another way that I use mints is that whenever I get hungry during traveling and I don't have access to any snacks. So I just pop in a mint or two and I'm almost good to go. Also, I have experienced that when you're traveling, you tend to take your time in choosing restaurants that you want to try in. So if you are hungry and you haven't chosen any restaurants yet, you can just pop in again a mint or two. One thing that I have discovered recently is this Listerine Go Tabs. So this is just your mouthwash in tablet form. The next travel essential that I'm going to share with you are Ziploc bags. So I usually have a Ziploc bag just like this one because especially when I'm traveling to a destination where I'm going to do some water activities or just, just go to the beach, uh, these Ziploc bags tend to be my case waterproof case for my phone as i'm going to demonstrate with you my iphone x this one fits just right like this so yeah if this ziploc bag can also contain your for example money or um, other things that you don't want to get wet another thing with a ziploc bag is that you can put your toiletries inside so if you have liquid toiletries you can put this right here also i think this one uh, with the airline restrictions, I think it was it's 100 ml and below. So you can use this in your carry-in luggage. Another thing with the Ziploc bags is that you can put your wet swimwear inside or other wet items. But I think this one is too small for your clothes. But I know that there are some Ziploc bags that are bigger than this. So maybe you can check out your local supermarket for the sizes of the Ziplocs that they have. But this one, I usually brought with me like uh, one piece or two pieces of Ziploc just in case. Also because I bring a loofah with me whenever I travel. So I usually put my loofah inside this so that my other items won't get wet. So another travel must have for me are cloth bags or canvas bags or echo bags just like this one. I love this idea because usually they don't take a lot of space in your luggage. If you look at this one, if I can crumple it, it's just like this size. I use this primarily if I want to go shopping or even just buy a little bit of groceries in my destination or in where I'm traveling in. So this one, I use this uh, to shop primarily. Also, I use this sometimes because I don't have packing cubes. So you can use this. Um, canvas bag or cloth bags to separate your clothes from your shoes or from your other items. Also, you can use this cloth bag to separate your used clothes from your clean clothes. Another way that you can use this cloth bag is that if you are staying in a hostel or you're sharing your bathroom with other people. Why? Because if you are staying in a hostel, probably you're going to share your bathroom with other people. So you can put in your toiletries here and your change of clothes here and then you can just hang it while you're taking a shower. Another travel must have for me is this mini pillow slash blanket. I think I got this in SM Surplus, although I'm not quite sure. As you can see, this is quite um, handy. And uh, if I open it, it turns into a mini blanket, just like this one. So what I love this one, aside from the color, is that it has two functions. One as a blanket and one as a pillow. In my previous travels, I used neck pillows, but I would like to use this more because this is washable unlike the ones that I have before. 
Also, I have noticed, I don't know if it's the same with your experience, is that public transportation is like a moving fridge. So for me, a blanket, a mini blanket such as this one is quite helpful. Also in some accommodations, I don't like the pillow or the blanket. So I usually just cover with this and I'm good to go. Okay, so one item that I'm going to share with you that is essential to my travels, well, actually not just my travels, but it's essential in my bag, are body mist or colognes or small perfumes just such as this one. With a small bottle of body mist or perfume, you are not just saving space, but your baggage allowance. Another purpose of the body mist or cologne for me is that when you download in the toilet, you just spray a little bit on yourself and you make the bathroom smell clean again. Also, when you travel, you tend to sweat a lot and the body mist or the perfume makes you feel a little bit more fresh. So for my next travel essential is what I consider a just-in-case item, which are adhesive bandages or more commonly known as band-aids. So this one, I have only the minions right now, but it is, it is especially helpful if you have blisters or cuts during your trip. So what happens when you travel is that you walk a lot. And even in your most comfortable shoes, you tend to get blisters on the back of your feet. So what I usually do is just put some band-aids or adhesive bandages there so that your feet is protected. So I just recently discovered this item. These are for the blisters on the back of your feet. This also can serve as a cushion, so this is quite nice. So my next travel essential is a lock. Why? So if you have a luggage that doesn't have any locking mechanisms, obviously you will need a lock, just like this one. Also, if you have an accommodation that doesn't have any safety deposit box, keeping your valuables safe can be achieved by just putting a lock on your bag. Another purpose of using a lock when traveling is if you're staying in a hostel or a shared bedroom. Usually in hostels, they have a locker where you can put your valuables or your things in and you just need to bring in your own lock. I'm going to share with you one experience that I had wherein the lock played an important role. We were already boarding the plane when the stewardess told us that there was no more room in the overhead compartment and that our carry-on luggage must be put with our checked-in luggage. So what I did during that time was take out my laptop, put this lock on my, my carry-in luggage, and then I was good to go. If I didn't have this lock with me, I would not feel that my items would be safe when they put it with my checked-in luggage. So for my next travel essential is a travel adapter just like this one. So a travel adapter just like this one is especially helpful if you are going outside your home country. Why? Because you don't know unless you research beforehand what type of plugs or socket the country that you're traveling in has. Okay, so I got this travel adapter from Amazon. As you can see here, it has an option for the UK plug. So I think the UK plug is like this one, three prong. And also, if you put on the other side, is the USA and Australia plug, which is, I think, is similar to the one that we have in the Philippines. Okay, so I'm going to put that in the middle so that no plug is sticking in. Well, I need to put that down. Also, they have the Europe um, socket here. So let's see, to put that up, you need to click on this one so slide that down pull a little bit and that is the European plug or socket what else so there is another um, socket here which I think almost all the plugs you can put here because of the variety so this one has two usb ports which you can use for your usb devices or just plugging in or charging your phone so that concludes my list of travel essentials i hope that you find inspiration in the items that i have presented here now that everything looks like it's going back to normal i know that people will once again be traveling a lot so i hope that with this list it will inspire you to make your own travel essentials. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please consider doing so. 
give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and hope you have a good day. Thank you.